Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, back from NAMM 2020, which just ended three days ago. And every year about this time, a few days after the NAMM show ends, I go ahead and digest what I've seen in terms of digital pianos, and I go ahead and make my personal pick of the year for digital piano. And I base that a lot on uniqueness, originality, and uh, functionality, and all kinds of things. So this year, it was really easy. But let me tell you what I was considering. First, there was the Dexabel S7 Pro M, which is the same as Dexabel's S7 Pro, but with M monitors built in, built in monitors, um, at 35 watts per side. It's powerful and it's amazing to hear what comes out of that keyboard from those little monitors. Unbelievable. So that was a feat right there and that's why I was considering that. And the next one up was the Kawai CA99, which is their Concert Artist Series. It's a console, it's not a slab. But the reason that I was considering that is the Grand Feel 3 key action that they're using in that, boy, I haven't felt anything like that since, well, since the Grand Feel 2 and the Grand Feel. It's firmer, it's more responsive. If you get a chance to get to a showroom, do it and try it. You'll be blown away like I was. Then there was the Korg SV2. Now, it's pretty much the same design as the SV1, which has been around like forever but it's got more sounds, more control, more functionality, and they even have a model now with built-in speakers. So that's an optional. You can get it with or without built-in speakers. Then Roland has a new RD out, the RD88, and it's got a couple of firsts for it. First of all, it's the lightest in the RD series, and it has built-in speakers, I guess, things are going that direction. It sounds great. It's probably one of the best deals going for a stage piano that I've seen as far as what's been released new this year at NAMM. And it uses the new Zencore technology. And lastly, I was considering the Yamaha YC61. Now it's only 61 keys, which is where it gets that number from, YC61. But wow, you gotta hear this thing. Uh, mainly for organ, it sounds so authentic. I was blown away. But there was one digital piano there that stood out from everything else. And that's what made my choice easy. My pick of the year goes to Roland for their GPX-F1 Facet Grand Piano. Now this is truly unique. I've never seen anything like it and neither of you because basically, although it's a concept piano, they had a model over there this year and this just has to be seen to be believed. So Roland has solicited designers to submit their designs and the winning design came from Yong Chan Kim whose design they wound up using. Now they call this a facet because facet describes basically one side of a multi-sided crystal, like a gem. It has crystal-like polyhedrons and a unique floating look. You gotta see it. So while I show you the pictures, it really doesn't quite do it justice, but you can still kind of get a feel for what it might be like to actually be there standing next to one of these things. Now, let me read you this. This is from Roland. So let me give you, uh, I need to credit them for writing this, but I thought this was fascinating. So I quote, the rich resonant piano sound comes from powerful speakers housed deep within the bass. Due to the absence of a conventional soundboard, the cabinet sound flows through the outer frame before reflecting onto the piano's top board, projecting out towards the audience. An array of flat panel speakers is located within the frame, 
and the bass to recreate the sonic resonance typically created by a piano's frame. The resonators found in the top board further enhance the depth of the sound. Finally, the near field speakers project the sounds most likely to be noticed by the player, including dramatic dynamic overtones and a recreation of the noise the hammers make as they hit an acoustic piano string. The unique cabinet design helps deliver the ideal piano sound to the player while also providing the perfect listening experience for the audience regardless of their position in the venue. Now that is a feat of engineering right there. Now, while it's just one of a kind right now, the way I understand it, they're planning on making 10 of these. And they go for a cool half a million dollars each. Now, I can see somebody like Lady Gaga playing this, and I hope she does. I'd love to see that. Or maybe John Legend. Now, I also understand that this is going to be flown out to the Grammys, so we'll probably be seeing it at the Grammy Awards. So this is one awards show I am looking forward to seeing just so I can see this piano in action. All right, so there you have it. Piano Man Chuck's pick of the year, the Roland GPX F1 Facet Grand Piano. Hope you enjoyed this. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.